taking a break away from several of my projects at once because I thought that this was important enough that y'all need to see this. This is a pair of heads that come from a customer up, um, he's probably going to kill me, I can't think if it's Pennsylvania or New Jersey, it's up in one of them northern states, it's very cold. Um, he had sent this to me because he bought these brand new out of the box. These are the Patriot heads and uh, it's kind of a weird story on this. Basically what we got, he bought them brand new. They're supposed to have 205 valves in them, 160. They didn't. He bought them as an assembled package. He had the motor set up on the dyno. He took the heads out of the box, bolted them on, and it made some of the lowest horsepower readings. Now, the heads he had on there before wasn't near. I'm thinking it was cast iron. I'm going to have to get the story exact because I'm putting this on my website because this is one of the better cases. Kind of like the, uh, the Dart 345s I did about a year or so ago coming out of the box and having problems. I'm telling you, you got to listen to me. And this ain't about me making money. Because if it was all about me making money, I would never have showed you people the secrets I have showed you of a lifetime's work. I'm telling you this so that you won't go through what this gentleman's going through. He bought them brand new in the box. It's supposed to have the high quality valves, all this. Anybody that I've done any work for will be the first to tell you that you buy these things bare and put your own valve. Number one, they lied to him. They're not 205s or 202s. Number two, this got the damn China valves in it. And they're very distinct how you can tell these valves. They're shit. And I've had a lot of motors where the head separates from the stem. But this is the reason right here. It's an easy test. You take the head. I got a screwdriver behind it. Now, if you'll notice right here, I'm going to try to get some light on it. I've already tested it. And I, you know, I called him up on the phone the other night and I said, buddy, we found your problem, but I already knew what it was when he told me to bolt it on. Look at the trails here, here, and some here and there. Uh, the valves are pouring fluid through them. Anybody that's called me on and talked to me about doing a job, which I would like to say at this time, it has to involve that, guys. I just can't answer no technical questions and get into that. I, I just don't have the man hours or the resources. But anyway, I tell people, look at the videos. Here's a simple $2 can of carburetor cleaner that I got at Walmart. You stick it in there, I'm gonna fill them up. Fill the exhaust port, it's almost full. I can already see fluid coming out of this one right here. I'm going to zoom in on you. Now, remember, I'm not putting no pressure, no nothing on here. All this is, is just spraying it and letting gravity do the work. And it is just slowly pouring through all of them. The intakes I didn't do on this head, but the other one I did, uh, some of these heads and Brodex, don't think it's to Patriot or Procomp, Brodex, Dart, all of them. I took flashlights and stuck in the damn ports and seen daylight, seen flashlight come through the valves. When you're buying a head from them people, they're giving you a core, but you never take them right out of the box, assemble with parts, and put them together. About the only way I know of that you could do that is if you paid about three or four thousand dollars for some fully CNC ported uh, trick deal, which you're going to pay the three or four thousand dollars for it. Uh, when you're talking about a fifteen hundred dollar pair of heads, basically you buy the cores. The guides on this were so tight I could hardly get some of them out. I do not see how that it didn't stick a valve. It was just a I won't say it, but a sea hair away from sticking. And some of them were a little loose, but not so bad. I'm going to have to put guides in it. But right now, you can see this one and this one. The fluid's starting to puddle up, and this one here's leaking a little bit. These are out of the box. I've already took the valves out and looked. The valve seats on some of them are over 150 thousandths wide. 
This is why you don't take them out of the box. You order the heads bare with nothing in it because it's got the china valves. Uh, my favorite valve I use, the best bang for the buck for the money, I use SI valves. Oh, JD and Lee up there will sure take care of you on their high quality stuff. Uh, I get a little bit of a break, but I pass it right on to the customer because I don't try to make money off the parts. They'll get you into a good EV8 stainless or even higher quality of that if you want to spend it. But you, you want to put the valves you know is the good one so you know they're not China valves. And of course comp retainers and several different manufacturers of springs. You build the head up buying the good parts. Because all you got to do is think about one thing. Hmm. $600 assembled, $450 bare. Well, guess what? That means that you've got $150 and the valve springs, retainers, locks, studs, and guide plates. Ain't happening, guys. It is junk. If you get the good parts in it, the springs, retainers, locks, all that, and get the good stuff, it's going to be about three and a half. So it's going to be almost the same amount of money as the heads. Not quite as much, but ain't going to be that far away. Bottom line, you get what you pay for because one of them heads break off you're done. So he had he spent uh, $600 on a day of dyno testing, bolted them on, turned around and sent them to me. Now I gotta go in there, we got the valves ordered all the way around. I'm gonna go in there, rehome the guides, custom fit them, because the valves that come are probably gonna be different from this. I hand hone each valve and guide, then I'm gonna do my four angle valve job, and I'm gonna do some porting on it, not much. He didn't want to go but to a stage three. But I'm going to clean up the chambers and all that. But I just want to take a minute to show you. We're going to do a little bit more. This will be part one. Let me see if I can't zoom in here. Okay, see if we can get it. You can see the fluid. I'm probably going to get fuzzy on you. All right. See, right here, you can see the fluid. See that? Look at that. And every one of them, let's go on down are all leaking. This is what you get if you try to buy a set of these heads and put them on right out of the box. Look at that. Well shit, you can see the trails and it's uh... I bumped it. My feet get in the way of this sometimes. Right there, it's not as bad but there's some coming out and the other ones. The other head, every single one, intake and exhaust were pouring. I let it sit overnight so that it would drain a trail so that you could see it but uh, just want to take a minute I am going to do a follow-up on it this is a stage three I'm going to show you how bad that the valve guides are and the valve job upon disassembly inspection put the new ones in and the valve job when you're doing the three or four angle cut that shows it right there I'm going to get you in knee deep and close so you guys, even, you know, that's fine you don't want to send it to me. I could really care less. I'd like to do your work, but carry them to somebody. Have the three-angle valve job redone on the brand new set of heads. Have the guides hand home, And they actually have a tool. I got one that's a vacuum tester that you can use to pull on it that shows connecting to the intake port, how much vacuum. But this is really a simple test. Because if it won't even hold carburetor cleaner with it standing straight up, you know that you got a bucket of shit here. So anyway, we'll get back to this a little later. We're going to call this uh, Patriot Head Valve Job Guides Destroyed Part 1, I guess. And then I'll, we'll keep it going because this is a Stage 3. I'll show you what you get. He's not getting no tubes, none of the heavy metal removal. He just wants the damn things to work like they were supposed to out of the box. And he's a really great guy. Uh, he's took this pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to put dyno time because, oh yeah, that was the other thing. The guy in the dyno room said the heads would have to be severely ported. They're all junk and had to be totally reworked and tried to hit him for $2,500 to port these heads. The machine shop guy knew all he had to do, rehome the guides, do the valve job, clean it up a little bit, and the horsepower rating to go off the chart. Because, buddy, when you've got valves leaking this bad,
and God's issues like this had on it, it can knock as much as 50 to 60 horsepower right off the head by it being mechanically. Because think about it, when the valves are sealing, it, it you know, it holds pressure. If it's not, it's going to be having blowback, you're going to have erratic idle problems, and the other thing you're going to have is overheating. Because if that valve cannot seat, especially on the aluminum head, then it can't transfer heat from the chamber because the only area it's got to do so is the valve seat and the guide. So this is just a, a big uh, can of worms problems right here that they just, when they're mass producing these heads, and like I said, Brodex has done it, Dar, Indy, I've seen them all like that shit. Shine daylight through them. Hell, I've even got GM heads, the 906's Vortex, out of there and put a straight edge on it and have to mill them 10,000 so it's bow warped in the center. And the reason they're like that is because the 906 has induction hardened seats. Well, they didn't go in there apparently and resurface it after they do them. So none of these heads are out of the box. I'm just, wherever you take them, a good machinist and everything, if you can find them, they are out there. They're far and few between these days. Take them. Have them gone through, buy the parts yourself, and then you've got a great head. You try to cheap it, this is what you're going to get. All right, that's all on this for right now.